The most powerful nations in the world are still competing to boost their forces by developing cutting-edge technologies for potential future wars. One of the keys to winning any potential future conflict is hypersonic fighter aircraft. Recently Chinese MD-22 hypersonic technology test platform was displayed at Yuhani Air Show 2022. When the landing gear's 1-ton weight and 4-ton takeoff weight plus 15 maximum load factor are not included, the MD-22 measures 10.8 meters in length, 4.5 meters in width, and 1.6 meters in height. 8,000 kilometers of range and a top speed of 7 Mach. The Wave Rider version of the strike in surveillance aircraft, which would have the aircraft use its own shock waves produced during flight to increase lift and minimize drag, could theoretically fly it at five times the speed of sound. According to reports, China is advancing and testing its hypersonic technology at a record rate. It asserts that it has added a new engine to its inventory, one that will help it advance in the hypersonic race. The air-breathing magnetic fluid engine being developed by China's hypersonic weapons program could make it feasible for commercial aircraft to travel anywhere on Earth in less than an hour. China plans to build a hypersonic passenger fleet by 2035 that will use near-Earth orbit to go anywhere in the world in less than an hour. Over 10 years after a successful operation, China is still committed to creating an aircraft of this grade and growing the fleet. The super quiet engine, which has no moving components, will also help build the next generation launch vehicle, which is anticipated to greatly increase China's space potential, according to the program's senior scientist. The initial flight of the next generation launch vehicle, which would occur in 2026, is most likely to be a simple journey to space. Can the Chinese hypersonic outperform the American version? Despite the alleged advancements, specific development and manufacturing schedules continue to be elusive. A SR-72 prototype will take flight by 2025, according to a statement made by Lockheed in late 2018, the aircraft might possibly enter service in the 2030s. Flight as we know it may be changed by Lockheed Martin's secret SR-72 which is supposed to one day be the fastest aircraft in the world. The U.S. Air Force retired the storied State Route 71 Blackbird in 1998, a 57-year-old spy plane that is still the fastest manned air-breathing jet engine aircraft. Rumors that Lockheed Martin was developing a Blackbird replacement surfaced in the late 2000s. In 2013, an influential article by Aviation Week's writer Guy Norris offered new perspectives on Lockheed Martin's ongoing research division development of the State Route 72, also known as the Son of Blackbird, a successor to the Blackbird. A reusable, unmanned, hypersonic, reconnaissance, surveillance, and strike aircraft is what the State Route 72 is intended to be. The original Blackbird carried no armaments at all although the latter function is one of the new fighter's significant enhancements. According to reports, Lockheed Martin's next high-speed attack weapon would be supported by the SR-72. The combat ability of the State Route 72 may prove to be an effective weapon for delivering high-precision strikes against threat settings considered too dangerous for slower manned fighters. The SR-72 is almost twice as fast as the original Blackbird and has a startling top speed of Mach 6, or 4,603 miles per hour. According to reports, the new aircraft can take off considerably more quickly than its infamously slow-to-start predecessor, which might be a huge operational boon in rapid response scenarios. Two engines will power the unmanned SR-72 plane. The dual-mode ramjet will provide power for the flight at hypersonic speeds after the turbine engine stops providing thrust when the aircraft reaches Mach 3. To reduce drag, the turbine engine and ramjet will share a single inlet nozzle on the aircraft. Together with Airjet Rocketdyne, Lockheed Martin Skunk Works is developing a turbine-based combined cycle propulsion system that will allow the aircraft to cruise at Mach 6 which is twice as fast as the State Route 71. 
The TBCC system subscale ground experiments were carried out by fusing a small commercially available turbine engine with a dual-mode scramjet or ramjet that included an axisymmetric intake and nozzle. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.